Hi team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab. And today we're going to discuss about how to read CISSP books. See, uh, this video is not only for my, uh, my students, but it's also for my gladiators who watch my videos on YouTube. And I used to receive a lot of DM Prab. There's so much in Cy Cybex. There's so much in CBK. You know, there's so much syllabus in CISSP. How to read that? How to remember? So this video is for all of you. See, when you're talking about CISSP, uh, in CSSP, we refer three books, Cybex 9th edition, CBK 6th edition, Memory Palace by Prashant Mohan. Cybex is a very popular book because the best thing about the book is it starts with the concept, then give you understanding and all that. Now, when you're talking about CBK 6, CBK is a direct book, direct statement. And in this book, we basically, it's official book of IC2. And the short, concise, which people refer week before the exam or even in my case, what I refer to my students is basically Memory Palace by Prashant, which is my brother. The best thing about the Prashant book is basically, you know, it is a very concise and short version of everything, which is you need to know week before the exam. But some people, when they refer Cybex, they, they read chapter one and then they basically move to chapter two. Then later on, what happened? They forget everything what they have read in a chapter one. So this was a challenge. So I thought, let me make a video where we can discuss about how to read a book and what should be ignored. Now, when you're talking about this book, okay, so this is the sample version of the uh, Cybex. So if we first starting with the Cybex, it's a sample version. Now, before you start reading any chapter, because they have organized the section in a chapters. First thing, my humble request before starting that chapter one, first read the exam essential, which give you the idea about what need to be know from exam point of view from this particular chapter. Very, very important. Then you basically refer the summary. What is summary of this particular chapter? That is a two thing that you have to do before you start a chapter one. Now, question is basically how to read chapter one. So let's take an example. Mm. Uh, we are going with the chapter one, which is called as a security governance and principle. So the book basically start with talking about overview and everything. Okay. Now we have this particular, uh, what he called a huge content. Okay. Now, how to read that? That's a question. Oh, oh, so much to read. Generally, security framework should be adopted that provide a starting point of how to implement security. Now, this is the keyword. I don't need to read the entire paragraph. This makes sense because this can be a problem statement for me. Can be asked in the question is, which document you will basically refer, which can be starting point of how to implement security. So answer is framework. Is it clear? who basically ensure the business management reliable with the functions and all that security is the business management tool. So instead of remembering everything, like because here you can see security is a framework should be adopted that provides starting point for how to implement security. Difficult to remember here. Just make a short note after reading the security framework is a starting point. That's it. Now you can see there are three common type of security evaluation, risk assessment, VA and PT, so that you can highlight security evaluation is three type. VA, PT, and security, this. Okay, then, because if you're going to read the multi-node risk assessment is a process of identifying asset, who will remember? Okay, vulnerability assessment use automate tool, who will remember? Pen testing use trusted individual stress security infrastructure, who will remember? Now, here you can see the goal of finding those concerns before adversary take advantage. So this can be the question. Security should be cost effective. This statement makes sense. It's, this is something you need to remember because if you get a question as a consultant, how you take the security, security should be cost effective. Understood. So instead of reading the entire paragraph and try to remember, point out these keywords. Okay, that is the most important part. Now let's take another example is, I'm reading this paragraph is security should be legally, uh, let me bring a spotlight. Security should be legally defensible. Law of your jurisdiction are the backstop of organization security. Huh? So this become a question, which can be a backstop when someone intrudes into environment, be it security, especially when so this is so much to remember. I don't want. Okay. Then security is a journey, not a finish line. It is not a process that will be ever concluded. It is not possible to fully secure something because security issues are always changing. Who will remember this? The defense that were sufficient yesterday may not be sufficient tomorrow. So I know this top, this, this paragraph, I don't want to remember now moving to the next part, understand, apply the security concepts. Okay. So they define the basic parameter need for security management. They also define the goals and objectives that policy designer and system must achieve to create a secure solution. 
Now they're talking about CIA. The first part is confidentiality. Confidentiality is a concept measure to ensure the protection of secrecy. Now keyword is secrecy of the data, which can be used to protect the secrecy. The answer is confidentiality. Make a note. Confidentiality, the goal of con confidentiality protection is to prevent or minimize unauthorized access of the data. This is the pointer. Numerous countermeasure can help to ensure confidentiality. Make a pointer. Encryption, network traffic padding, strict access control. So make a short note. Confidentiality countermeasure is encryption, network. So any question talk about in network traffic, strict access control, answer is confidentiality. So instead of remembering everything, make a short points of this area. Now, if I go back to the next part, organization should evaluate the nuisance of confidentiality they wish to enforce. Tool and technology implement one form of confidential might not support. So this can be the question. Okay, integrity is the next part. So in this case, they say integrity is a function. Again, numerous attack. So instead of reading the entire paragraph, you don't need to read the entire paragraph in detail. You don't need to remember. You just, when you're reading the paragraph, understand the key pointers. Now you can see confidential and integrity depend on each other. That makes sense. So make a note of that. Integrity depend on confidentiality and access control. Make a note of that. So this is the keyword. Then third, we have availability. I don't need to read the entire. I'm reading. I don't need to remember entire. Only focus on key point. Grant it timely and under access. Make a short note. So this is how you can basically make a notes of that. Is it clear? So when you're reading a Cybex, instead of remembering the entire paragraph, read the paragraph high level. See, this is how I prepare my certification. I don't, English is not my first language, but when I read the book first time, I, I find, okay, this can be the problem statement, which can be asked in the exam. Okay. And based on that, no, it's, you can see non-repetition prevents subject from claiming not to have a sent message. Huh? It makes sense. I will make a note of that non-repetition equal to this. So this is how you need to make a pointer. Is it clear? Now, second most important thing you need to refer is, as I said, we have another book, which is called as a CBK. Now, if you go to CBK, this is also the copyright material. See, first principle of CIA trade is confidentiality. Question can be asked in the exam is, what is the first principle? I'm not, I'm not sure, but they're giving you question as a problem statement. Organization. So I'm reading the entire statement in the, in the short, the goal of confidentiality is to basically, you know, protect the informations and intended people are able to access the resources in pertaining to viewing, copy, moving the data. Okay. So organization that failed to protect data confidentiality run the risk of violating on contractual. So this can be the question. If you fail to protect, what is the impact? Privacy is basically feel that closely to the security and focus on confidentiality. So it can be asked. Privacy is basically as uh, deal with which aspect of CIA. So this is how, now here you can see the concept of confidentiality is closely related to the security best practice least privilege. So what is the ultimate goal of least privilege? Answer is confidentiality. Under least privilege, user only give enough access to their job, no more than that. So this is how you need to understand. Confidentiality is often the security concept that data owner can care about the most. So which is more concern about data owner? Answer is confidentiality. Encryption, multi-factor authentication, role based are the few measures. So which is basically used to achieve what? So these are the basically the important part. Extensive personal training is usually important measure for reducing the risk as well as human error. So this can be the question, which is basically the most effective control to reduce the human error and negligence. Answer is extensive personal training. So these keywords, instead of remembering the everything, make a point of that. That is how you can able to remember everything. Hope it is basically clear to everyone. Now, third book, we basically talk about the memory palace. So if you see that, as I said, you are in the last week of your session. So it is not possible for you to remember everything. Okay. So in this case, what happened is, this is the short, concise book, which is there, which is a summary of Cybex and CBK. You can see whatever was highlighted, it is there. Is it clear? Top secret grave damage, secret critical damage, senior management, management ultimately, data owner classified, data custodian and take care. See, he already made the notes. Understood? Because he read the book and based on that, he made the notes. So this is how, in so more of the stories that instead of reading everything, okay, oh, sorry, instead of remembering everything, read the book one time, but not to memorize and identify automatically key points and highlight that key point and make a note of that. And second time when you read, read that pointer only because that basically save your time. So this is all from my side. Do let me know how do you find the session.
And uh, if you find this particular practice useful, do share your suggestion in the comment box. Thank you. Good day. Bye.